Hello there, you guys. This is your weekly love energy reading for the week of July 10th through July the 16th, 2017. And I'm going to be using the um, Psychic Tarot for the Heart Oracle cards for this spread. And I will pull a Romance Angels Oracle card as advice um, for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed your full moon. I know it was a little bit crazy for me. I don't know how you guys took it, but it was a little bit crazy. Um, let's go ahead and get into the reading. But before I do that, I'm going to pull a Romance Angels card as advice for this week. This reading will be for um, singles, partnered, um, those who are interested in someone or someone who is completely single. And, you know, maybe just be open. You may not have anyone specific in mind or that you're interested in. This, you know, I believe that spirit can reach us all in different ways individually, no matter what the card that's pulled. It's going to reach us all in its unique way, however spirit would choose to do that. Okay. All right. Let's get into it. So the overall energy we have is joy and stability. The overall energy for you, where you stand with love, is eight of control. If there's a specific person in mind that you are dealing with or interested in, or someone that could be coming in, you have balance, the challenging energy, three of sadness and isolation, supportive energy is 12 or 21 of embrace, and the energy that is underneath the surface is the crown chakra. Okay, all right, so overall energy this week. When it comes to love, you have the Joy and Stability card, which is the Four of Wands energy, pretty much. So overall, right now, your focus is very much on um, maintaining balance, not only with just in yourself. I feel majority of you is trying to find balance within yourself in regards to a relationship. Like you don't want to, you don't want to be a person that has a lot of baggage. Um, you know, still holding on to some sadness, some bad memories, any resentment towards yourself or someone else that could mean your past or if it's your partner, you could still be upset with this person, haven't really let it go. Um, could very well also be that for some of you, there's a person that you're interested in and you have it like you have this percent like you might not realize this. But I feel like for a lot of you who are interested in someone, maybe you just started dating or maybe it's just someone that you 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 want to get to know better or you desire to have a relationship with this person, you could very well have this perception of this person like, you know, um, it's, I feel like it's very subconscious, like under the radar to you that you may look at this person as they may not be up to par to you or they may not be good enough for you. So you're sending out that vibration, I feel, for some of you. You might send out this energy that this person is not capable. And I don't feel like you're doing it in a way that's like egotistical or anything like that. I feel like it's more so like I don't know if this person can handle me or take care of me in the way that I feel like I might be too difficult. I might be like too crazy. I might be... Um, too much drama for them. I could be, in like my word, <laughs> tainted. I could be too tainted for this person. Um, I don't know if like they'll be able to handle me or not. Um, it's horrible, you know, and this person, like, what if they're not spiritually strong enough for a person like me? Like, what if they're just, you know... And you, in some, I hope that this makes sense, but like in some of those, you know, the dynamics, like say the the twin flame dynamic, it's like that whole thing, like run and chase her thing, sleep and awaken twin, like, <laughs> and it, it puts out this whole vibe that you are like more aware, you're more uh, connected to spirit. And this other person is just like this dummy that's just walking around that doesn't know anything. So it's kind of like, I'm attracted to you, but... I don't know if you can handle what I got or the person that I am. So it, I feel like it pushes out that energy. It very well does push out the energy that I'm not up to par for him or her. Like, I don't know if I could be with her because 
she's sending out this energy. You don't even realize you're doing it. I really feel like you don't realize you're doing it. But it's very subconscious, I feel. But over, overall, you do want that stable partnership and foundation. I just feel like it's some other energies that's kind of conflicting with that. That you just need to be aware of and get a hold of and it will be fine I feel you will find that balance within yourself and I feel like that's a part of the releasing aspect for you you don't want to bring any baggage in that could be a part of it that maybe you're looking you know looking down on your partners and saying yeah I want you but you don't have this and it could even be so much as so like I'm not gonna bend like if you don't have a car or if you don't have this much money or if you don't look like this and you know or you got this one aspect about you that I don't like you know it's it's really ridiculous I feel like you'll see it and you'll release it because it's like maybe that's what's keeping the imbalance going that's maybe that's why our relationships are not are not happening for some of us or maybe why uh, we're not attracting the partner that we really want or why our relationships with our partners are not working in some way but where you stand individually, you have the control card. So where you are, this is like the strength card. Um, I feel like you are trying to definitely take a stance in where you are in love life, in your love life, even taking responsibility for certain things. Like I can either make or break my relationship. Like I have the ability to do that. Um, I have been in control or finally embracing that control but not in a egotistical way i feel like or a way that's like unhealthy i feel like this is in a way of um you taking your control back is you taking your power and taking a stance in your love life taking more responsibility in your love life definitely um because it's like you're tapping into your higher self, I feel, more so than anything. You're starting to trust in your higher wisdom, your higher guidance, or looking at things at, at least from that place, from your higher self. If there's another person involved or say that you're completely single and don't have anyone in mind, this could be someone that's coming in. But um, whether they're coming in this week or you're picking up their energy around you this week, this person, um, they have the balance card. So this is another major arcana. This person is trying to find balance within themselves as well. They are, um, I feel like this person is going through a, a healing process within themselves. They may not fully understand what it is that they want or how they feel. Um, it's this energy that they may not understand what they want or how they feel when it comes to love. There's certain things that need to be healed within their heart space, like things that maybe they perceived that they wanted or always thought that they wanted or needed in love. And that's just not the case. It's not true. It doesn't resonate um, with them anymore. And I feel like they're going to feel that out. Like it's, it's causing them to have some imbalances. So if this is your partner, I feel like you both are realizing that some of the things that maybe you wanted don't really make your relationship healthy. It's kind of like there's a need for compromise. There's a need for, um, you know, that pure love energy where you're not so hard on yourself and you're not so hard on your partner because you guys may have wanted certain things that may have not been important. These are coming from old past desires or they're coming from desires of, you know, things that were imposed on you or what you think you should want in a relationship or how your partner, or how you think your partner should be or act or make you feel. It's certain things like that that I feel like is breaking away for both of you. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Um, and it's actually bringing couples closer together. Now, if this is someone that you're interested in, it could very well be that this person is becoming more whole within themselves because it could be that they were seeking that validation through other partners um, in the past, things like that. Or it could also be that it helps bring you guys closer together, like to see each other in a different light. Because like I said, you may be perceiving this person as like not up to par to you, even though it's not in a place like, oh, I don't want you because you're not, you don't have this, but it's like, I want to be with you, but I don't think you can handle me. Like you're basically telling, like putting out this vibe that you're too much and they're weak. They can't, 
you know, handle you. So that's kind of what I'm getting with that. Um, as far as the challenging energy, what's kind of going to be challenging to you is the three of sadness and isolation, which is like three of swords. You can be very, um, you could be very tempted to revert back into some old way, like because you're breaking out, you're taking control back of your life, but you could easily revert back to that place that you once were where you just clam up into your own space and woe is me and I'm depressed and I can't control my love life and I don't know what to do and it's not working or it's never going to work. I'm never going to have anybody, blah, 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 that type of thinking. This is more so of a um, mental or it could also be verbal or communication with yourself or with other people. So be very mindful of that like don't ever say to yourself that I'm never gonna have a healthy relationship or I'm not worthy word worthy I'm not worthy of that um, you know things are never gonna get better for me whatever it comes to you that puts you back into this place of sadness you can be very tempted to do that this week and I feel like spirit wants you to remain open please remain open and trust the vision of this um, joy and stability that you have, that you really want, ultimately. And even that balance you want within yourself, it's like, I can't be that that woman anymore. I can't be that man anymore. That, that doesn't exist anymore to me. I'm not that person. That's not my story anymore. That baggage is no longer mine. I release that. I've let it go. I've overcome that. Or I am overcoming that. So don't fall trapped to that, that energy of clamming back up into that the BS again. But as far as the energy that's going to support you, you have 21 of Embrace. So you have the support of the universe, but you also have the support of like many people around you. And it could be others that are in the same boat as you. I feel like this is a collective energy. So this could be, um, you know, people on social media. OK, because this looks like the globe to me. It's like the web the internet, okay, and it's like social collective energy, so this is you connecting with those around you, um, others like you, could be groups, forums, you know, um, certain titles, I, I don't really like all the labels and stuff, but like light workers, empaths, and you know, certain things like that, the spiritual community, the new age community, the conscious community, like whatever you resonate with, motherhood, um, you know, singers, musicians, like whatever you feel um, you connect to or you relate to is other people that support you in that, that realm, that area, you're going to have that. So be open to the support of your peers and the collective and others around you or others like you is what I feel. Um, and maybe even spiritual advisory. This could be someone wise or this could be a spiritual guide in your life, whether they come in the physical form or this is your communication with your spiritual team. Lastly, this is the energy that's working behind the scenes, which is the crown chakra. So little do you know that um, your crown chakra, because you got almost three references to your crown chakra. I would say that this represents your crown chakra. There's this halo around him, on his head. Same here with this person in this card. It's a halo around his head, this orb of light. So you may want to work on your crown chakra if you, if you feel a little disconnected from your higher self or your wisdom or you're, you feel like you're not being guided or you're not picking up any intuition or guidance. For some of you, um, you're not aware that this is working, you know, times like times 10, that your intuition or your guidance or what you're picking up, your visions, um, I feel like the messages that just come through certain things that you don't know how you know that, but you just know something. You need to trust in that because it's actually guiding you this week. Little do you know, you're, you're, you need to be open to that. Okay, so let's see what the advice card is for you. Your advice card is give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Okay. Okay. So this card is pretty much going back to what I was saying for some of you out there in a relationship you guys need to bend it's not just you but your partner as well like you guys need 
to release and let go of these these things that these structure, these desires, these beliefs, you know, just being totally rigid and you guys just need to compromise and let go of some of these things that just they don't really serve your relationship. They're not really desires that are yours or they're not healthy desires. So it's kind of just give each other a break. Also, for those of you who look at your partner as though they can't deal with you, they can't handle you. Um, I don't know if this and that, if I can deal with that, if I can work with this or, you know, he's he's not as spiritually awake as me or she's not spiritually awake as me she doesn't know any better you know that type of thinking it's kind of like you're talking down to your partner okay that doesn't even it doesn't even feel right it's kind of it really is like you're saying that your partner is not <laughs> they're not unequal to me they're not on my level no matter how you put it or the person that I'm interested in yeah I like him but you know he's kind of stupid you know he he still does this and he's not awake and he doesn't do yoga like you know that kind of crap like that type of thinking and, and talk is bullshit so all spirit is telling you is to give these people a chance because the obvious reason you have feelings for this person whether you are just interested in them you like them or this is someone that you love or you're in love with there's a reason so give that person a chance and be be able to look past your rigidness it's not so much a settling you know when you're settling for something that is not good for you versus you um trying to be controlling and have to have certain things in a, a certain way this could also be that as well some of you could also be very controlling and manipulative with the universe and with others okay or with the situation so be mindful of that all right, you guys, that was your love energy reading for this week. I hope that it resonates and that it gives you some insight and clarity into your situations. As always, you guys, I'm giving you much love. And until next week, peace.